There's a guy whose name you might have heard, Eugene Peterson. He's responsible for the message translation of the Bible. So he like knows Greek and Hebrew. He was a professor, a teacher, um, a theologian, and also a pastor. He knew his stuff. And one time he was, he was a pastor to a group of pastors. A group of pastors had gathered, and he shared these words with them. He said, we are most of us Augustinians in our pulpits. Augustinian refers to a premise in theology that uh, we can't do anything to earn or unearn God's love, that it's purely by grace. So that's what that big word means here. We are most of us Augustinians in our pulpits, but the minute we leave, we are Pelagians. Pelagians were another group of theologians who believed that works could earn God's favor. Uh, an idea that in Protestantism has generally been rejected, but that has some staying power. So Peterson says, but the minute we leave, we're Pelagians. In our committee meetings and our planning sessions, in our obsessive attempts to meet the expectations of people, in our anxiety to please, in our hurry to cover all the bases, we practice a theology that puts our goodwill at the foundation of life and urges moral effort as the primary element in pleasing God. That's the Pharisees' mistake, too. Because when you work really hard to try to earn the favor of God and other people, and you put all of this time and energy into it, and yet you still aren't feeling as loved as you want, what does that do to a person? You judge yourself. You judge others, too, who maybe aren't trying as hard or doing as much or doing what you think is right. And so Jesus is calling out the Pharisees for missing the point. He's calling us out when we miss the point. He's calling out, but he's also assuring us of something. Again, he's speaking to this crowd of all kinds of people and many of whom can't or don't follow every letter of the law. And he assures them of something. There's an activist, John Perkins, who says, you don't give dignity, you affirm it. That's what Jesus is doing. Jesus is affirming the dignity that each person he's speaking to already has. He's not telling them that they'll be light if only they follow the rules better or become something better than they are, or if only they just do or dress or speak better. But he's telling them, you are salt. You are light. It's an affirmation that's a bit paradoxical. By telling them what they already are, he's also pointing them to what they can be, to what their calling is, which is to be these things, which is to season the earth, which is to shine in the night, 